Man, physical distancing really makes this communication thing hard. What? 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 You what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. What? Wait, wait. I said, I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, I said physical distancing makes communication hard. We should do a group call. Yeah, okay, I'm here. Hi, Annika. <laughs> Hi, Connor. Did you know we have a lot of squirrels at camp? Yeah. But I don't like them very much because we have a lot of invasive species from Europe, so I kind of don't like squirrels. Oh, uh, what animal do you like then? I like diving beetles because they're way cooler and also endemic to Alberta. Also, I wrote a song about them replacing the song Brown Squirrel because they suck. Can we hear your song? That sounds really cool. Yeah, I'll show you. Here's how the song goes. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. And then my partners will help us lead the song. Cool. Here we go. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Take a uh, mosquito larva. <laughs> Take a mosquito larva in your claws and shove it in your little mouth. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Uh, something bigger this time. Uh. Squirrel, because we don't like them. <laughs> That's an excellent suggestion. Okay, uh, take that squirrel in your claws and shove it in your little mouth. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Uh, something even bigger. Uh, 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 a boat. <laughs> okay, take a Boat. Rowboat in your claws and shove it in your little mouth. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. One more? Okay, one more. What's bigger than a boat? Uh, Jupiter. I, that escalated quickly. I dig it. All right. Take the planet Jupiter in your claws and shove it in your little mouth. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Diving beetle, diving beetle, swim with your hind legs. Okay, so um, this next song is called Beautiful. We will have the lyrics avail available for you. And um, yeah, Travis here is on guitar, and Attica is also singing with me. So, yeah.
just a memory and tears are no more. We let the ring as the wedding bells ring. Your bride will come together and we'll sing your beautiful oh, 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 your beautiful Hello. For our Devo today, this fine Sunday evening, I would like to talk about a bit about my story and just where God has taken me and some some Bible verses that He's He's led me through as I've gone on my my own journey. So to start, I'll read from Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 8. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. This really showed me how there's a time in your life for many different things. Like for me, my own faith started here at Kyriakis, at this place, and I met so many wonderful friends, which eventually led me to, to go to a Christian high school. And there I also got to grow so strongly in my faith. And then most recently, I got to attend a Christian college. At each place, I was able to, to grow in my, my understanding of my faith and to grow in community with other believers and to learn more. I really struggled during those times of, of knowing of where to go and what to do. But I had a wise, um, a wise friend once tell me, you gotta go, you gotta do what is most important to you. And that's, that really stuck out to me, because I really thought about it lots. And that's when I really, really realized what's most important to me. And that's following Jesus. And that's why I decided to, to go to these schools, go to these, these wonderful communities. Because that's where I knew I could learn and grow in my, my following of Jesus. Another... Um, more recently, another wise mentor of mine said, It is much easier to follow than to lead. We are talking about what comes next after I, I graduate. And, and I was trying to, to go and do what, what I want to do and what I think that God wants for me. But I learned that it's much easier to follow follow God and follow where he's leading me. Just like when he led me from camp to LCBI to Briarcrest. It's so much easier in life when you just follow God instead of trying to make your own path. And that just, that was another thing that really stuck out to me. That I try each day to not let the stresses of life and the stresses of where am I going next weigh on me but to just trust God and to follow. Lastly, I'd like to read from 1 Peter 1. 1 Peter chapter 1. 
Let me just find it here. Verse 1, 13 to 16. Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. And just the whole part about being holy because God called us to be holy. That's what we need to follow. We need to build our lives on. And it's something that I continue to strive and do. It's not something that you get to and you're there, but it's a lifelong process. So as I go from here, I want to encourage you in how you can follow Jesus today. To not let the stresses of trying to lead your own life, but trying to just follow Jesus and finding peace in his, his calling for your life. Amen. Next we will be singing Sanctuary. You can follow the lyrics on the screen. Annika and Eleanor will be doing the desk hands. And Echo and Connor and I will be doing the same refrain, chorus, whatever you want to call it, to the song.
remember, going from here, we are set apart, but still together. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.